What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. I wanted to wait till I got back to like my normal like desk if you will because the lighting was kind of weird in the last video I did because I was on vacation. So anyways, this video that we're going to be going over is a, it's two, well one trade really. I had a losing trade, I lost $300, then I made $800. Um, we're going to mainly go over the $800 to one because people don't really watch my videos when I talk about my losses. They're there, you guys can see them in the previous videos. Um, but anyways, that's that. So let's just jump right into this video here going over the trade that I did in which I made $800 in the morning again. I, I do quick morning momentum trades. That's my style of trading. But anyways, let's just jump right into it here. Alrighty. So in this video, we're going to be going over a trade that I did here on Netflix. We made $860 on it. I also had a trade on Goldman that I lost about $300 on. Um, that's not going to be the highlight of the video here. The main one is going to be Netflix. Like I say in my other videos, you know, I, I don't really make videos focusing just on my losses because no one really watches those videos. I'll mention my losses. I talk about them. I'll say them, but I, I won't necessarily make a video specifically for that. Uh, just If you go look at my previous videos, any video that has to do with losing, no one watches. It has like mm, a very minuscule amount of views. So uh, that's not really the highlight of it here. So mainly Netflix. Let's just jump into this here. I want it to be a very quick, quick video for you guys. Um, I was trading puts. Puts means you make money when the stock goes down. Real quickly, I got in right here. I got out right here. So long story short, I left a lot of money on the table. There could have been a lot more. I could have made more, but that wasn't my plan. I had a plan. I stuck to my plan. I took my profit and that was that. I made 860 on it. Uh, I mean, we're still up $500 on the day with the loss. So here it is. Netflix, I got 10 contracts at 525 each at 632. Then about eight minutes later, I sold them for about, we'll just say average of 610 each. So overall, it was an $860 profit. This is where I got in the trade right here at 632. As the value of the stock went down, the value of my put increased from 525 to 615, 610. And this is where I closed the trade out right here at 640. So it could have been more, but we don't get greedy. You just stick to your plan, you take your profits, and that's that. And then obviously the uh, the Goldman guy is here too. Um, this was a trade. It was a trade that I did yesterday. I mean, it, hold on, I gotta. There we go. Uh, you see, I, it was only four contracts. I got it right before the end of the day. Uh, it was literally like a lotto trade. My whole like intentions on it were I was willing to lose up to like four hundred dollars on it. My plan was if Goldman hit or got above two hundred five. Um, yeah, 205. I believe 205. Yeah, we'll go look at it right now real briefly uh, that I would get out of it. It was like a real quick overnight lotto trade. Uh, by lotto, I mean like it's either going to work or it's not. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I enter trades. If you notice, I only did four contracts. I don't enter trades based on, oh, I normally do this many contracts. Oh, I normally do that many contracts. No, I enter trades based on how much I'm willing to lose. So if AMD is currently at 24, let's just say, and I'm willing to lose $1,000 on the trade, that's how I determine my position sizing. So I'll have a plan and I'll say, okay, if I get into AMD at 24, if it goes below 23, I'll get out. So that means I'm risking a dollar. So that tells me if I'm risking $1, per my plan, and I, I'm only really willing to wit, risk and lose $1,000 if I'm wrong, how many shares would you get? You would get 1,000 shares. Or maybe if I get in at 24 and my plan is, okay, we're in it at 24, we're going up to 30, or if I'm wrong and we go below 22, I'll get out. So that means we're in it risking two dollars because we're in at 24 we'll get out if it goes below 22 so that's a two dollar risk so on a trade like that i would only get 500 shares because if i'm only willing to risk a thousand dollars so that's exactly what i do i go into trades based on how much i am willing to lose 
So I was only willing to lose about $400 on this trade, like maximum. That's why I only went in about four contracts because I did my calculations and I said, okay, well, if the stock does go up to 205, blah, 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 then this will probably lose this much value. If this loses this much value and I'm only willing to risk blah, 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 $400, you know, you, you guys get the point there. That's how I determine how many contracts I go in with. So that's why it was only four. Uh, the other trade, you know, if it would have worked out, it probably would have been at least like, a, you know, I would say at least six fifty seven hundred dollars $700 profit minimum. Uh, and then that's if it worked out overnight. If it went to my profit target, it would have been at least like an eight nine $900 profit. Uh, but that's besides the fact, like I say, we're not here to talk about all that. That's It's kind of pointless. And then obviously this is also my trade from yesterday too. Tesla had 10 contracts in at 485 out at 565 that was another 800 dollars profit there so 800 800 and then we lost 300 either way as i always say as long as the outcome is income so that's pretty much that there uh this was the netflix and then goldman you know once he hit the 205 he practically opened up to it and then shot up to it and that's where i closed it out and that was that so yeah so anyways that was that guys we made about 500 dollars today 860 here on this netflix uh, and yeah, we'll wrap it up before I start rambling and all that. You guys know the deal, though. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter, Who's Bijan T. Make sure you guys visit our website. I'll put the link in the description, and I'll talk to you guys soon.